What's up, cannonballs? What's up? Your boy is just getting up from a long nap. And I feel like I had some of my spirit to say. Because I just saw something on uh, the internet. Now I know everybody's getting tired of talking about the whole Will Smith and Chris Rock thing. and But let me tell you like this, you guys. I had seen a video and it was talking about a man. Well, no, well a man was talking, at, talking about... Um, incident and saying that, saying that the LAPD came by Chris Rock's dressing room asking him that he want to press charges. So now, 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 let me tell you guys this. There, I can relate to that situation because there was a there was a there were there were a, there, were, uh, there was a time where um, me and my sibling had got into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got into it really, really bad, and um, you know, some threats made. You know, some weapons, some weapons pulled out, and um, when the police got there, you know, I chose not to press any charges against my brother. They really wanted my, they really wanted me to, to um, just go through with everything. But my brother had just got out of, you know, he just got out of, which I think he just got off on um, probation, and he's, you know, he had a job and he got a child, so therefore. I don't want to see my brother locked up because he got shit that he got to handle out here. And it, and honestly, I don't give a fuck how mad I was. I, did, I still did not want to see my brother in jail. And it's sad as me that you got some of our people. <laughs> I tell you about it. I tell you. I tell you. I tell you. And it's a lot of black folks saying this too. Oh, he should be in jail. He should press charges. You know what? You know what? I feel like that's not that's not really the answer. So you want to see another black person locked down, you know, another black one locked down because they had a reaction, and it was to me in my eyes it was harmless. It wasn't a punch. It wasn't, it wasn't like a punch, just a slap. Even though that's even though that's considered what assault, but still, I'm not glorifying the situation. But at the same time, I see our people. You know, are acting as if Will Smith is just what they use. How you know that that word um, aggressive? Out, you know they 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 just traumatized. How the fuck are you traumatized? You know what? I tell you, I tell you, it's a lot of white. It's a lot of people that's not up. That's not black. That has done some crazy shit. And as black folks. We're not traumatized behind that bullshit because we know. Anytime we hear a crazy ass story, we know who did that shit. Who we and we know who didn't do that shit. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you like this: a lot of times when we did hear about crazy ass shit, you know what? The other the other colors, the asses got lesser time. But had they been black, uh -huh, a little shade, a little a couple of shades darker, the damn would have got close to life. Uh huh. Yeah. They want to see. They want to see the black folks right. Now I'm not trying to make this a black issue, but it just it just it's just crazy how you got your own people trying to turn against you, or really not. Well, I wouldn't say turn against you, but they just want to see you, you know, you know. I guess <clears throat> take accountability for your actions. Okay, I they, we can, they can, he can, she, he, whoever. Cause let me tell you like this, it's always gonna be another another, another situation. Uh, situation that we may not even see, and it may not even have to. It may not even have nothing to do with Will or Smith. I mean, Will with Will or Rock. You know, it can be some more shit in the back scenes. On the world in the night it has, but a lot of shit that happens in the back, on the back end. I mean, behind the scenes because we don't see everything. And a lot of the motherfuckers are either high on drugs, and then they want to come out here and talk about how they, how long they've been high and when they we, and when they used to be high, and and, and how much how much they used to do. Mm -hmm. I ain't feeling sorry for none of that bullshit. Okay. I'm not, because if you can talk about it, obviously your ass ain't that damn crazy. If you know if you if you look look you know, you're blessed you that you you come out of that bullshit, because you you have allowed the drugs to take over your motherfucking ass, and we and we all know which ones that allow the drugs, uh huh, and the domestic bullshit take over. That's that's that well, really their lives, and they can change the situation. Mm hmm. But let me get up on off here, because that was just a little small rant. But 
Let's keep our brothers and sisters out of the damn jailhouse. You know? Let's keep our brothers and sisters out of the, out of, out of the jailhouse. That's all I got to say.